we're gathered together here in the presence of God and in the presence of family and friends to join together Aaron and Caroline in marriage, which is a way of life created by God. It's my privilege and responsibility as an ordained minister to charge you before God, who is our creator and sustainer, and who completely knows us and loves us, that you have seriously and conscientiously considered the holy covenant you're about to make to each with each other, knowing that if both of you keep your wedding vows, you will have a good and fulfilling marriage. Erin, as a little girl, I remember playing dress up, imagining the day I'd finally get to wear a wedding dress of my own and marry my Prince Charming. Little did I know that I would actually find him on a dating app 20 years later. <laughs> While I really wanted to meet someone organically and traditionally, as some might say, I can't imagine not giving on that app because then I wouldn't have ever met him. To my beloved girl. Where has the time gone? Um, from our first date at Standard Poor to the first time we said I love you, to our first trip together, to getting our first puppy together, to buying our first home together. I can go on and on about all the first experiences we've, we've been together, but we'd be here all day. <laughs> During the last five years of knowing you, I got to truly understand who you are as a person, how you treat others, how you interact with your family. It's also admirable to see the person you are today how you love your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Uh, I'm Catherine, I'm Bride's twin sister and maid of honor. Also known as her best friend, soulmate, partner in crime, role model, icon. I've been lucky enough to know Caroline for her whole lives. She is the sweetest, kindest, most pure-hearted person I've ever known. She always puts others before herself and cares for everyone with the deepest sincerity. That's been made very clear. You have already provided so much for us and I can't thank you enough for being the man you are today. You are honest, patient, reliable, trustworthy, kind, and authentic. I look forward to many other first with you, trips, spontaneous dates, day jar ideas, and building a beautiful family with you. You are my favorite person to be around no matter the day I've had. I've never believed in soulmates or love at first sight until I met you. You make me, you make me a better person each and every day. You are my better half. I love you forever. One word that is overused a lot, I guess, is the word brother. He is the truest meaning of the word brother. He's always there for you through thick and thin, no matter what. A lot of it is kind of, because of the age gap, it's kind of blended into a father figure, role model, brothers kind of relationship. And so it's made me be a better man because I've tried to be the best that I can be to make sure that he turns out, well, better than me, right? That's the goal. And damn well, he sure has. And so the thing that he's done best overall is to find a beautiful bride, smart, intelligent, caring, always there for you, always worried about, you know, the other person, always. Um, before I dance with my stepdad, which is something that's really special to me, um, I wanted to take a quick second to make a little bit of a shout out to the person that raised me. You may or may not know our story, but for most of my life, it's been my mom and my sister and me, us girls. 
And um, I could not have done this without her. I could not have had my dream happen if it weren't for her. And for that, I am forever grateful. And because of that, I would like to dedicate my bouquet to my mother. When we were little, we shared bunk beds. However, we both ended up sleeping on the bottom bunk, which is not a surprise to anybody who knows us because we cuddle a lot. But on the bed, we had a pillow and embroidered on it were the words, I'm smiling because you're my sister and I'm laughing because there's nothing you can do about it. Aaron, <laughs> I'm smiling because I'm not your sister and I'm laughing because there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Cheers to the bride and groom. <laughs> So I, I, I think I can speak for everyone here when I say you guys damn well deserve the world, you know, and so cheers to the beautiful, beautiful bride and the handsome groom, the Millers. You will always be my goose, and I promise to always be someone you can lean on, count on, trust and confide in, both in the good and bad times. I love you beyond words, and I'm so excited to finally be your wife and officially start our forever together. It is my privilege to present you Mr. and Mrs. Aaron Miller.